Hi, I want to talk about calculating the Fermi energy of a medical book. Hi, I want to talk about calculating the Fermi energy in a metal. The Fermi energy is roughly halfway up that first conduction band, and it comes about based off each atom in a metal contributing one electron to the electron C. And we can calculate the energy of the Fermi level, that lowest open state energy available to electrons for conduction, using the equation the Fermi energy is equal to Planck's constant squared divided by 2 times the electron mass times the quantity 3 times the number density of electrons divided by 8 pi raised to the 2 thirds power. So let's take a look at the Fermi energy in gold. So we're assuming that each gold atom produces one electron that's given up to the sea of electrons creating this Fermi level. So for gold, the density of gold is 19,300 kilograms per cubic meter. Now, to figure out how many electrons per cubic meter we have, we'd have to take that density and divide by the molar mass. And the molar mass of gold is 0.19697 kilograms per mole. So that would give me the number of moles per cubic meter. I multiply by Avogadro's number, and that means that in gold, there should be 5.899 times 10 to the 28 free electrons per cubic meter. So if I plug that into the Fermi equation, multiply it by 3, divide by 8 pi, I'll square it and take the cube root, multiply by Planck's constant squared, divide by 2, divide by the mass of an electron, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms, and I end up with an energy of 8.85 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So to convert that into EV, which is the unit that's most commonly used in atomic physics, divide it by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 joules per EV gives me a Fermi energy of 5.53 electron volts. Thanks for watching.